Welcome to the Sacred Geometry and Light Body Activation Masterclass. A masterclass is a time to set the intention for mastery. We begin with this reminder, very similar to the central truth of the Tantras, as above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. We're going to explore how this statement helps us to understand the purpose of sacred geometric form in our healing. We continue with the star tetrahedron, one of the central sacred geometric forms in our light body activation process. At the core of the star tetrahedron is the tetrahedron. The tetrahedron is the only polyhedron that has four faces. It's also the only simple polyhedron that has no diagonals. The tetrahedron reminds us that as we increase our attention to the presence of the divine everywhere, the presence of the divine multiplies and matures. The tetrahedron symbolizes focus and offers solid protection against dark and maleficent energy. It brings us closer to the divine, enlightens us, and opens channels to higher knowledge and awareness. The tetrahedron and pyramid symbolize unity and are powerful manifestation tools. Remember, all sacred geometric forms have principles of unity and constants in their numerical configuration. That is what brings us protection. It is the way that the forms are angled, the ratios that the lines have between one another, all create a harmonic field that we step into as we gaze at these forms. The properties of the tetrahedron are that it has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. The image that we see here is a star tetrahedron. A tetrahedron is actually half of this image, but in cubic form. So we see here more of a flat image of a star tetrahedron. If you break this in half and look at just the upward pointing triangle and then envision that as a cubic form, that in essence is the tetrahedron. It has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. All four vertices are equidistant from one another. This creates six planes of symmetry. Unlike other platonic solids, a tetrahedron has no parallel faces. All equilateral triangles form all of its faces. What we know about the star tetrahedron is that it deflects energy. It protects you as it spins around you. This is due to these properties. The star tetrahedron is a field that surrounds each of us. The apex of the upward pointing tetrahedron terminates one hand's length above our head, and the apex of the downward pointing tetrahedron terminates one hand's length below our feet. A connecting tube runs from the upper apex to the lower apex through the body's main energy centers or chakras. Before the fall of Atlantis, we used to bring prana simultaneously up and down this tube. It was a different way of existing in our bodies. Within the flow of this prana, we activated our pineal gland that's located almost in the center of our heads. Over time, in humans, this gland has gotten smaller because we've stopped breathing prana through our bodies in this way. Pranic energy used to flow through the center of the pineal gland. This pineal gland looks like an eye. Its primary field of view is upward toward the heavens. Just as our eyes can look up and 90 degrees to the side from the direction they face, the pineal gland can also look up 
as much as 90 degrees. Just as we cannot look out of the back of our heads, the pineal gland cannot look down toward the earth. Held inside the pineal gland are all sacred geometric forms and the understanding of the essence of reality itself. These understandings are less accessible to us now because we lost our focus as humans after the fall of Atlantis and started to breathe differently. Instead of taking in prana through our pineal gland and circulating it up and down these central tubes, we started breathing in through our nose and mouth. This caused the prana to bypass our pineal gland which resulted in a different way of seeing and operating within our reality. This also resulted in a polarity consciousness in which we think that we're inside of a body looking out, somehow separated from what's out there. This is actually an illusion and it is because of the way that we breathe that we hold this perception. Many believe that we have as humans entered into a fallen state of consciousness that's directly related to the patterns of our breath. You can think of this like a mutation in our pineal gland that happened over thousands of years. The DNA activation and attunement process works with our breath and sacred geometric forms. It helps us to reawaken this pattern of breath to reactivate our pineal gland and to reconnect to this ancient programming and awareness. In Atlantean times, we were aware of the geometric energy fields around our bodies that can be turned on in particular ways connected to our breath. This field was used to spin at close to the speed of light around our bodies, but it slowed down and stopped spinning after the fall of Atlantis and shift in our breathing patterns. When this field is turned back on in spinning, it's called a Merkaba. It gives us an expanded awareness of who we are. It allows us to access higher levels of consciousness and restores within us the memory of the infinite possibilities of our being. A healthy spinning Merkaba is 50 to 60 feet in diameter, proportionate to one's height. The word Merkaba actually means chariot in Hebrew. It's made up of three smaller words, Mer, Ka, and Ba. Mer is the counter-rotating field of light. This light field is activated through specific breathing patterns. Ka is our individual spirit. It's the source of our faith and belief in the work that we are doing. Ba is the spirit's interpretation of this particular reality in our world. Usually, we know Ba to be our bodies. The Merkaba then is a counter-rotating field of light that affects our spirit and our body simultaneously. It's a vehicle that can take our spirit and our body from one world or dimension into another. It can also create reality and move through realities. It's an interdimensional vehicle in this way. It helps us to return to our original higher states of consciousness. The fuel for our spinning Merkaba is the understanding, realization, and living of divine love. No matter how perfectly you're breathing, if you are not dwelling in divine love, you will not have the primary fuel that allows your Merkaba to become a living field of light. Without divine love, our Merkaba has limitations that prohibit multidimensional travel. We must experience then and express divine love towards ourself and others in order to fully activate our Merkaba and move beyond this dimension. 
One of the central teachings of the Merkaba is that you could be in a total void with no air to breathe and completely survive by bringing your attention to the prana tube that runs through the center of your body. This prana tube is more powerful than your nose and mouth breath in activating your life force and your spiritual power.